And all across the country, communities are celebrating Dr. King's life and legacy. Trevor Alts is live in North Portland with how local groups are honoring the civil rights leader. Trevor. And Ken and Jenny, good afternoon. I'm in front of the Dream statue. This was completed 20 years ago to honor Dr. King's life and legacy. And then here this morning on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, hundreds of people gathered at the Oregon Convention Center to discuss the legacy and celebrate the legacy of Dr. King and everything he did for civil rights. This morning's event was called I Am 2018. It was a mixture of hymns, speeches, and calls for action centered around Dr. King's speeches, many referencing his final speech. Speech, I have been to the mountaintop. A common thread between the messages of today's speakers, like we just heard in the national messages in Memphis, was a sense of transition between the black community and society as a whole. They celebrated Dr. King's efforts and the great strides black people have made in America while also standing firm that more work needs to be done before our country can truly achieve equality. It's up to us now to pick up the cause and continue to work and the legacy that was left that was left for us. We've come a long way, but yet there's a lot of work left to do. Today's event was sponsored by a number of local organizations built to help minority and underprivileged people find economic success. Portland Metro, Portland Jobs with Justice, and the NAACP were all on hand. Now, this afternoon in Portland at 4.01, the community will hold a minute of silence to honor Dr. King's legacy. And then at 4.07, they will be ringing bells in his honor. Faith leaders, community leaders will be ringing these bells 39 times, one time each for the 39 years that Dr. King spent on Earth. Reporting live this afternoon in Northeast Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News. Yeah, it looks like an impressive turnout today. Thank you, Trevor.